Hi everyone, it's Kathy here from Paper and Lace Princess coming to you with number three of my follow-up videos to my um, product find. Now in the intro you might remember me showing you these little paper bags that I found and was telling you I was quite excited to do a paper bag mini because I had never actually done a paper bag one before. I've done plenty of envelope ones and all sorts of other ones but not done a paper bag one. So what I have come up with, let's have a look. I've actually used this uh, Graphic 45 Bohemian Bazaar. It's one of their new paper lines. I will flick through it, but there's absolutely nothing in it. I think there's like two or three sheets. Um, but look, it's so bright and colourful. Um, just going to be a treat when there's photos in the album. So let's have a look at the album. And here we go. Now I did tell you she was bright. So here on the cover we've got um, some little bling hanging down here. I've just done a little uh, extra catch on my ribbon here on the binding and um, hung these off of there. I've done a um, duct tape spine on this one here. Just done a little plait with some embellishments down there. In the back I've just let fine. Once again I have covered the whole cover of, of this in the um, uh, multi mat, the studio multi mat. On there. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. It's great glue as well. Okay, so let's have a look through this little album, shall we? Okay, so we we'll open her up. And here we go. So straight away on the front cover. We're making, we're utilising all the space we have in this little album. And believe me, there are only four pages, but there is tons of room in here. Um, the way I've designed this little um, album, I've not seen done before. So I, I hope you'll enjoy it. It's, it's just a, a little bit of a different take on it. Okay, so as I was saying, on the front cover, we've got a little pocket here. Housing lots of little tags and, and bits and pieces here. We've got some bigger tags, some little cutouts from the paper pad, and some other little tags all in there. A little bit of the um, chipboard embellishments. So we've got our first page here. So our first page actually lifts up. So obviously we've got the back and the front that we can use for photos or journaling, memorabilia, whatever we might like. Underneath the flap, it reveals a little pocket here that we can house lots of bits and pieces in there. Another one of the um, embellishments there from the chipboard collection. And these little flowers are from I Am Roses. Okay, so oh, the other thing I meant to show you there was on the side of it, we've also got a really large tag as well. It pops back in there. That up. So I'll have to move this across either way so you, you can you can see it all. So on the uh, next page we've got a little pocket here, housing tag and other little bits and pieces here from the paper pack. And the pocket that I've made here also is another pocket on the top. So that's holding quite a bit of gear for us. And now we're going to mirror image the, this page here right throughout the book. It's just all mirror imaged, just with very slight variations. So once again, we lift it up. We have our large tag here. Have little tags that fit down in there. And just a little photo mat there. Little booklet there for some photos and some more cutouts from the paper line. So that closes up there. Open that up to the next page. It's just so bright and happy, isn't it? It's just beautiful paper. It's very different to what I normally use. Um, once again, some chipboard embellishments. Um, another little pocket here with all sorts of tags and goodies in that one there. To this page here. Lifting that up, we've got we've got a lot happening here on this one. We've got our pull-out tag here on the side. 
We've also got another large photo mat tag sits in there. Some cutouts from the paper pad. Over here we've got a little belly band and a little pocket with some more tags. And they just sit in there like so. So I've just matted up some paper there so it's all coordinating. We'll close that one down. Oh, and this one here, it's also got a little bit of bling. I decided because it is bohemian and we're already brightened out there, why not bling it up a little bit more? So we've just um, used some glossy accents to glue these little bits of bling down all over the shop. <laughs> okay, so next page. Uh, once again, we've got a pocket here on the side. And a little pocket up here on the top. Once again, pocket up here, like so. Tags down here. Fits so much in this. Onto the very last page, a little tag here. A pocket here and a pocket here and I've just fussy cut out one of the embellishments to match the pocket here. Nice little bit of bling on there and another pull out tag. Oh no that's on the other page there at the back. That's that one there. Sorry. This one here comes on this side. So many pockets I'm not sure where they all are. Okay last page we've got a little pull out pocket here and lots and lots of tags in here, like so. And I've just crazy patched the back with all the bits of paper that were left over. I didn't want to throw them out, and it's it's just so fun and out there. I, I thought that um, we could get away with doing that, and I, I really like how that's come out. So I've left these pockets quite deep as well. So you can fit quite a bit in there. There's still room. I mean, there's four tags in here, but there's still room. You could fit ample more in in there on that back cover. Closing it up, and the back also has been done in the multi mat. Just left the spine as it is, bar for the ribbons that are threading through the pages, and I've just plated that down and added some little bling on the bottom. But that was so much fun. So I hope you guys like it. And um, please let me know what you think. So thank you very much for um, taking the time to have a look at this video with me. And enjoy and have fun creating. Bye.